And welcome back to your four to five. We know that gift giving can be tricky when it comes to finding the right present. There can be differing opinions on what's considered a good gift and it can add stress to relationships depending on how couples react to those gifts. So that's why Blanca Cobb is joining us today. We're going to talk about gift expectations and the way it can impact relationships. So first, how can having different opinions about so-called good gifts change someone's relationship, Blanca? It can cause a rift between both partners if the gift giving is off balance, if you will. And the reason this happens is because people receive love in different ways. So Dr. Gary Chapman came up with five love languages. One of them is gift receiving. The other one is words of affirmation, touch, quality time, acts of service. So if you're, you have a partner whose love language isn't receiving gifts, they may not even think about the importance of gifts for you, or they could be dismissive because it isn't important to them. All right. So if you are in a relationship, your partner maybe gets you something that you don't think is a good gift. What doesn't tend to work when you're looking for something a little bit nicer? A lot of people think, well, if I get them a nice gift, then they're going to reciprocate and get me a nice gift. Mm, not necessarily. See, what happens is, is because they're basing it on their own definition. You know, what do they believe about gifts, whether it's handmade or whether it's store bought? Maybe there's a price point. Maybe it's the extravagance or the number of gifts. So if you have a difference there, you can't just assume that if you model gift giving that they're going to reciprocate the way you're doing it. All right, so it is important, I would say, for people to get on the same page about this, Blanca. How can uh, they communicate with their partner about gifts? Absolutely, particularly now that Valentine's Day is right around the corner, right? That's in our next holiday. And it's talking about gift receiving and gift giving. And the biggest thing is you want to ask questions and listen. Ask your partner, what is the importance or significance or relevance of gifts to them? You might be surprised at their answer. Maybe to them it's like, I could care less if you buy me anything. I just want to spend time with you. So once you listen to their answer, that helps you guide your conversation where you can explain, I hear what you're saying, honey. I love spending time with you too. However, gifts mean X, Y, or Z to me. You know, when you buy me a gift, it makes me think that you're thinking of me. It makes me think that I'm special to you. So that's the kind of conversation you want to have with your partner. Don't assume someone else can read your mind. Blanca, thank exactly. you so much. Before you run to the store and buy a gift for your partner, you can revisit these ideas by finding this story on our website.